maintenance should start zero and lift off of the Atlas V. NASA sent off the biggest piece of hardware it's ever sent to Mars on Saturday. And several engineers who happen to live in the Santa Clarita Valley watched the launch live at Jeff Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. It's been a great day. We've had a very good day. The launch went very, very well, and the spacecraft looks like it's working very well in flight, so we're very happy. They had some really cool camera angles for this, for this mission. Uh, I was especially impressed by the, the camera on the Centaur that was looking at the solar arrays on the spacecraft, at spacecraft separation. That's cool. That was a, an extremely cool image, I thought. Pictures worth a thousand words, right? Uh, or a thousand bits of data. Um, and then uh, we wish we had pictures on the way to Mars, but now it's on its way and uh, we'll get more pictures once we get there to, to the surface. And when does it arrive? August 5th of next year, about uh, 1030 at night uh, here in California. So you uh, go home and take a break for the next nine months? <laughs> Not quite, no. No, we actually have a little bit more to do to get the spacecraft all kind of in its sort of quiescent mode. we got to send some commands today and some more tomorrow. And then we, during, uh, on the way there, we have to do some uh, little course corrections to make sure we're lined up right for Mars. We have to check out the instruments, make sure everything is still working okay. Mostly what we have to do, though, is practice for once we get there. We have to practice for the part where we... Uh, Go, you know, the approach at Mars where we got to make decisions about are we going to the right spot? And then we practice even more for how the mission will work on the surface because that's where we do the science and where we really get the uh, payoff for the mission. Speaking of the science, you've been involved in uh, Mars projects specifically for more than a dozen years. What makes this one different from all the others? This one is, is taking a big step forward in, in trying to understand not just whether or not water was on Mars, but whether or not Mars could have supported life in the past. That we, we kind of believe the water did exist on Mars in the past, and that's a good sign. But it, to really then go look for, uh, for organic material and for chemical signs that life existed is, is the purpose of this mission. To do that, we have to take some very sophisticated instruments. We have to be able to look inside of rocks. So we want to be able to drill into rocks and take samples out of those rocks and feed them into this chemistry laboratory. And the idea, again, is to, to know whether or not, you know, a long time ago, most likely, Mars was able to support life. Well, congratulations again on the successful launch, and we'll be seeing you again in nine months. There you go. That'll be great. Looking forward to it. For SCV-TV, I'm Leon Warden.